The current Porsche Taycan has only 227 to 270 miles of range. That's a little bit less than what everyone was expecting. And to be frank, it's actually the most expensive car in the world when you consider range versus price. Per mile that this can drive, it costs more than any other car except for the rematch Navira, which is an electric supercar that costs 7 million US dollars. Well, now Porsche are saying they're changing everything. They're changing the game. They're bringing 800 miles of range. Seriously. This seems like it's too good to be true, but it might not be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans and... I've got to say a big shout out and a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Could not do this without you. Really, really truthfully, it's a lot of effort to make this many videos and to put in the effort needed to really give you guys the kind of information and content that I think tells you the full story of what's going on in the automotive industry. So thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. Like I said, couldn't do it without you. If you're interested in being a Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. And as well as that, I've got to say a massive thank you to everyone, all 4,400 people who have donated to my GoFundMe campaign. I'm immensely grateful for your support. The Porsche Taycan is an all-electric sports car produced by the German automaker and was first announced as a concept back in 2015. It was unveiled as a production model in 2019, four years later. Not many people know that, but Porsche worked on the car for four years. Now, it's true the Taycan has some pretty impressive performance capabilities. I've driven it in Gran Turismo. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Jokes, but yeah, it's a big car. It's heavy, but it's quite fast. The top of the range Taycan Turbo S delivers 750 horsepower and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles an hour in around 2.6 seconds. It's slower than Plaid, but it's still one of the fastest cars in the world. Now, like I keep saying over and over and over, and I know, and I keep doing it, the future of the automotive industry, when it comes to EVs in particular, looks incredibly promising because we're just seeing new technologies unveiled constantly. That's why I love this job. There's always something new happening. Innovation is happening at a breakneck pace. I mean, innovation in internal combustion engines, almost nothing had happened to be fair, for what, 20, 30 years, power outputs, very marginal differences, turbochargers, people still saying that 90s era turbocharged cars were better than modern ones. You know, there wasn't really huge changes, was there? But now we're seeing incredibly fast, rapid innovation in the electric vehicle industry. Porsche engineers say they predict that in the medium term, whatever that means, EVs will have a range of 800 miles or more and be recharged in under 15 minutes, eliminating range and charge anxiety for EV owners. I keep saying the same thing. 600 mile range electric cars will be ubiquitous in 2030. One area of focus for Porsche engineers is anode optimization, where they explore the use of silicon instead of graphite. Silicon anodes have the potential to increase battery capacity tenfold and enable much faster charging times. However, Silicon's tendency to expand significantly when absorbing lithium presents a challenge that needs to be addressed to ensure battery longevity. Now, of course, if you have an expensive car, you expect it to, the battery pack to last a long time. So Porsche has to solve this challenge. Now, Porsche engineers privately believe that the real breakthrough will come from solid state batteries, which use a solid electrolyte mass instead of a liquid electrolyte. Solid state batteries would offer increased energy density by up to 50% and result in significantly faster charging times. Furthermore, solid state batteries are more stable and less prone to fire hazards. So there's some advantages, but they're obviously gonna be much more expensive than today's batteries, which continue to come down in price. As Tony Siever predicted many, many years ago, back when batteries cost $500 per kilowatt hour, and then now at $100 per kilowatt hour, batteries would keep on getting cheaper and cheaper. And at the same time, energy density continues to improve as well. While solid state batteries are still under development, Porsche engineers are anticipating rapid advancements in battery technology. Professor Maximilian Fitchner of the Heinholz Institute of Ulm envisions a vehicle range of 800 miles in the near future thanks to improvements in anode chemistry and cell packaging. 
Now, of course, you need to bring the weight of the vehicle down as well. The Porsche Taycan, it's a heavy vehicle. That's one of the reasons why Tesla is focusing on gigapresses, on structural battery packs. Reduce weight, you need less batteries, then you can improve the range. The transition to solid state batteries will require the development of new chargers with active cooling capabilities. Liquid cooled charge cables, similar to what Tesla has hinted at for its supercharged network, can enable reliable and efficient power conduction for high charging rates. For example, the current Porsche Taycan charges at 350 kilowatt, but new ones could charge it up to 500, they say. While EVs still have their flaws, and you know, the internal combustion engine fans who are stuck in the past always like to point them out and they exaggerate them to the 10th degree. Now, while EVs have some challenges, they are overcoming them. Now, some of these challenges obviously include range limitations and longer charging times compared to traditional combustion vehicles. However, the continuous advancements in battery technology are addressing these concerns. As battery technology matures and major breakthroughs occur, it has the potential to revolutionize the public perception of electric vehicles and pave the way for their widespread adoption. Porsche believe they need to keep on selling internal combustion engine vehicles because that's what their buyers want. But I personally disagree. Within a space of five years, Porsche's electric cars and other rivals will be so good in comparison to internal combustion engine vehicles that I believe people will move on from the past and focus on the future. Now, this concept of Porsche saying their EVs will have 800 miles of range in the medium term, what do you think about that? Do you think that's true? Do you think that's, are you buying this? Do you think Porsche had this technology yet? I don't personally believe they have it yet. I think this is more them saying, well, we're working towards it. We'll get there one day. Do you think they will get there? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.